All right, hey everybody, it's Chad from Six Blog. I'm Stig, and uh, tonight I just want to do a little video and uh, really just kind of ask some questions um, to those of you that um, maybe not necessarily just on spider coes or in particular the Delica Four, but just have more knowledge of knives and uh, general construction and just you know maintenance tips and things like that because I am a novice. Uh, you know these three knives that. Uh, right here in front of me. That's really the only pocket knives that I have. I have a few other ones that I got that in the past that were just little cheap pocket knives, no names. Um, but I started with the uh, Benchmade Griptilian and uh, I really like it. It's a nice knife. But I've got to say that ever since I've got my Tenacious, um, I've carried this Tenacious all except for maybe about two or three days. And on those other days, I carry my grip tea, and just just so I could carry it since I have it. Really, really liking the tenacious, um, simply because of the weight. Um, it's really smooth opening up. Um, the steel on it, it's it was really super sharp right out of the box. And then um, I recently got the, uh, or just yesterday, I got the Sharp Maker from Spider Co. And I put this thing back on there, and I just used the stones that came with the the uh the spot, uh sharp maker and uh and i got this thing back it's just as sharp as it was when it came out of the box maybe even just a little bit sharper um but i really like the tenacious so far it's just a good knife it fits in my hands well and it's an inexpensive knife and then most recently i got this one here the uh delica four uh this is the frn delica four and i noticed right off the bat that it was tighter than my Tenacious was. I didn't really mess with it yesterday, but today when I got home, I did a few things to it. I actually took this apart. It's the first time I ever took a knife apart. Uh, but I took it apart, just to kind of look in there, because I at first, um, actually, at first, just because it was so tight, I just took a number eight, I think it was, a number eight little screw here, and I just kind of loosened this up, but I noticed that to get it to a point that was loose enough that I liked, it was too loose. The actual body and everything around it was too loose. So I ended up just completely taking it apart and uh, I have a little oil for that I use to clean my guns after I get done shooting my guns. So this is one question for those of you out there. Um, I forget what kind, this is just some Walmart gun oil. Uh, I forget the name of it or whatever. Um, but anyway, this is what I used when I took it apart. I put just about a drop or two around the uh, the phosphor bronze washers that were in this knife when I put it back together, thinking that the oil would help loosen it up. Um, and then, uh, basically, it took me a second, but I put it back together. Also, why I took it apart, um, I don't know if you could tell really, but this uh, pocket clip was actually black, like the one on my bench made here. And I didn't like it. I wanted it, to, it just didn't seem to go with the orange and then the silver. Um, it just seemed weird. So I got my drill out and I polished it down. I polished it for about 20 minutes and this is, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's not polished like my blade is, which I kind of wish it was. I wish it was polished like that on my Tenacious, but it's not. It's still got a little bit of a hint of black to it. But uh, it looks much better, in my opinion, than what it did um, whenever it was just all black, like on my Griptilian. So I did that, and then I put it back together. Um, and I'm going to say it opens up a little bit better, um, but it still seems tight. Of course, you can see it falls pretty good whenever I just push on the lock. Um, but it just seems like right about here, right about there, it's, it's got a tightness to it. And I'm thinking that it's got something to do with the lock. Because I'm thinking that that's where it's rubbing against the lock and it's getting stuck. Not necessarily stuck, but it just takes a little more force. Also, I think that uh, this knife is 2.4 ounces. And I can't remember how much my Tenacious is, but it's at least an ounce heavier. But it's just an overall heavier knife. And that weight will actually help me open up the knife and uh, you know, just real smooth. Whereas I noticed my Delica, it's a little bit lighter and it takes a little work. You can see I got it to where it does pretty good. But here's my thing. I, uh, I did take it apart. I put some um, 
like I said, I put some of this oil around each of the phosphor bronze washers that were inside it. And I put it back together, but I noticed it was still kind of tight. So I loosened up my, my tension screw here. And I even loosened up this tension screw here that was over the lock just a little bit. I'm not sure if that did anything. And that's one question. Um, does that screw right there, does it make a difference? Will that affect how the, the blade swings open or not? Um, but anyway, um, now that I've got this to where I like the way it opens up now, even though there's still a little bit of a catch, like I said, there's a little bit of a catch right in this area. And like I said, you can see that lock kind of moving right there. Um, but I've got it to where I like it, but I had to loosen this screw up so much that there's actually a little side-to-side -side play. And I can feel it. You may not see it in the video. I can feel it in my hands. I can feel this rocking back and forth just a little bit. And I'm wondering, is that normal? Um, do I have the screw too loose? Because it's still tight enough to where it's, it doesn't rattle around or anything, which that screw and that insert is uh, set in there pretty good anyway. It's good and tight. Even without the screw being tight, that's set in pretty good. But, um... I don't know, you know, um, well, actually there is just a little bit of side-to-side -side play also in my Tenacious, so, but anyway, I don't know, like I said, that's just some general questions, I don't know a whole lot about these knives, I'm, you know, just now getting into them, and, uh, like I said, that was the first time I took a knife apart, and actually, I don't know if you can see it, but um, <clears throat> inside, you may not be able to see this at all, but down inside the locking mechanism on the your left side, uh, I couldn't get that orange piece, the steel liner lock, I couldn't get it to match up with uh, part of the, uh, the actual handle on the inside. There was like a little button that it was supposed to fit into a hole, but it was offset just by a hair. And no matter what I did, I could not get that to fit. So, uh, but whenever I tightened down these three screws around the edge here, it um, it pulled everything back together, and it's nice and tight. No, no play in the handle or anything like that. I'm not worried about it. Uh, but anyway, just playing around with this knife tonight, and like I said, uh, polishing that handle off, and uh, just opening up the knife, I'm going to be honest, it kind of made it feel like it's mine. Uh, it's my knife now, so that makes it pretty cool. But anybody, anyway, sorry, um, if anybody could just give me information, just kind of comment, give me ideas, tips, or whatever. Oh yeah, also, I've noticed since I've been carrying my Tenacious in my pocket, I've noticed that there's been a lot of lint because I wear jeans, and there's been a lot of lint collected on the inside of there. Um, so one question is, how often should I take this apart and actually clean it out real good because or is it a good idea to just run some water through there and you know make sure it dries out real good or something um not really sure what the best answer on that is um but anyway i do like them i'm gonna say so far i like my spider coves better than my my bench made here um i really like the uh the bench made it's just a that's it's a big knife um it's sturdy it's solid, it's big, it fits in my hands, and it opens and closes really well. I love this locking mechanism on it uh, better than I do either one of these so far. But, um, I don't know. Anyway, that's just my little video. If anybody has any comments or uh, tips, like I said, feel free to post them and uh, educate me in the ways. I appreciate you for watching. See you later.